So today we're gonna to talk to you about making eye contact with your dog and why I think it's important and why I felt like it was an important topic for us to talk about here on this channel. So eye contact is super important whenever you're bonding with anyone, especially your dog. So personally, I find it really hard to make eye contact with people. Um, I don't know why, it's something that has started since the abuse stuff happened to me. So I feel like that is something that's probably common with other people, not just myself who've been through abusive situations. So whenever you make eye contact with your dog, it actually boosts oxytocin. This is the same chemical that's boosted in your brain whenever you're bonding with your child. So it's actually a bonding chemical in your brain, which is awesome. So you can do that with your dog. Making eye contact with your dog can be super comforting and reassuring for both you and them. As long as your dog is like comfortable with you though, and they're not like timid, if they're a timid dog, it might make them feel uncomfortable. As long as they're not like that, then you can really try to get them to do eye contact with you. So if you're not really good at making eye contact with your dog, a game you can play is look at me. So you would say look at me and try to get them to look you in the eyes. As soon as they do, give them a reward. You can also, if your dog is like not understanding at all what you're asking, you can hold a cookie. You can hold a cookie like right here in front of your eyes. We always have you right here, huh? I love that she sits here, but I can't show you what I'm trying to show you. So if your dog is having trouble making eye contact with you, you can actually hold a cookie like straight in front of your face right here and say, look at me. And whenever they look up there and make eye contact with you, then give them the cookie. So just 15 seconds of eye contact with your dog, or obviously with somebody, <laughs> is really good for you. So obviously if you get your dog to like stare at you in the eyes and talk to them, it's really, really nice. Something I've noticed with eye contact with therapy is whenever we actually do this, and if I say her name and tell her I love her, she starts wagging her tail and comes up and licks me. It's so sweet. And I love it so much. It means a lot to me. Um, whenever I got therapy, I was in a really bad place, like mentally. So some things kind of slip by, unfortunately, and eye contact was, was one of them. But we did start this a little bit later. You know, it wasn't immediate, obviously, and that's really sad, but we did start that. And so through that, since we started making eye contact and actually like locking eyes and staring at each other, I feel like our bond has grown so much since then. And whenever you do this with your dog, whenever you actually look them in the eyes, um, they like it too. So they start looking at you like for that. So it's really cool to see the progress, you know, see the progression of where you start whenever they won't even look at you to where, you know, they're like looking for that and they're like satisfied by that. So it's really nice. So um, like I said, if you are having trouble teaching your dog this, you can do things like look at me and just hold a cookie right here and have them actually look at you in the eyes, reward them as soon as they do it. Try to always like smile and be like, good girl, good boy, you know, the things to them whenever you're doing this. So Faraby has look at me as one of her report buttons and she'll go over and press it and tell me to look at her and she really wants me to just come and actually like gaze into her eyes. So I think it's super, super sweet. So the reason I wanted to make this is because I feel like actually bonding with your dog is super important, especially if you have a service dog. Obviously everyone wants to bond with their dog. Like it doesn't matter who you are, but for service dog owners, like it is such a big thing because they're with us all the time and they need to be bonded to us over other people. So I think it's really important to talk about ways we can do that. And so eye contact is a great way you can do that. And the other reason I felt like it was important to talk about it here is because I know for myself, I have trouble making eye contact. Like I am not good at all with making eye contact with people. And I think it's because of the abuse stuff that happened to me, but it is really, really important for you. It's important for you to do that with people around you who you're safe with as well. But like I said, bonding with your dog is the topic here. And I know for myself, like I said, because of the trauma that I've had, I know I have trouble with eye contact. So I know other people probably do too. I think that's a common thing among people who have trauma. You know, it messes with you in that way. It makes it hard for you to make eye contact just because of how your brain is wired. Long story short, staring at your dog in the eyeballs is real, real good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, I'll link some videos over here for you guys. We'll link a subscribe button up here and we will see you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>